Jaguars outside linebacker Dwan Smoot has been a Jacksonville Jaguar for seven seasons. His work on the field is only partially what makes Smoot who he is. It's also all of the work he does off of it that made him the Jaguars nominee for the Walter Payton Men of the Year Award. Now Dwan and Amari have created something that will continually give back to the community for years to come with a private daycare and preschool. This is our little mascot, Elsie. So our logo is a little dove, so we have one of these in each classroom. Elsie is a special word for the Smoot family, so much so when they opened their new school in Jacksonville, they named it the Elsie Academy. It's my grandmother's name, and so um, when I found out she was diagnosed with breast cancer, I decided to go ahead and name the school after her. Um, and then once I did research on the name, the name has a very strong meaning, and it means pledge to God. And so we're believers, and I just felt like it was meant to be. We're here in your school, the LC Academy. What does it feel like to be here fully built? You have students in the classrooms. It feels surreal to be standing here today with the classrooms fully finished and families here that we're serving. It's a blessing, and we're just excited. Yeah, it's definitely a dream come true. You know, two years ago when we were visualizing this and trying to come up with a plan, it's just, it's just been a very long road to us getting here. The journey of building the school began when the Smoots gave birth to their firstborn. We had a mirror almost five years ago at this point, and I did what any other parent does. We started to shop around for daycares, and um, I found myself pulling him out of different daycares for different reasons. I knew that if I had these issues, that other parents were experiencing the same thing. Over the past two years, the Smoot family built the school, which was fully funded by themselves. On January 2nd, the LC Academy officially opened and enrolled 12 students. Right now, the school currently serves kids one to five years old. We've seen that, you know, what Jacksonville needs, and we've, we've had to mold our vision around what exactly it needs as well, too. So. What we have done, we've opened up our school to VPK and school readiness vouchers. So mm -hmm. it allows parents that are from inner cities or maybe from struggling homes to be able to afford mm -hmm. to come to our child care. The school's motto is where gifted minds are cultivated. The curriculum integrates Spanish and sign language into the lessons. For me, I feel like it's important that our children are comfortable and have confidence in interacting with people of all different backgrounds. The classrooms are age specific for each age group's needs. Each one of our classrooms are set up in centers. The key to each center is making sure that each um, learning material in that area cater to that specific area. All different types of blocks and animals and cars, they can build like little cities, uh, which is why I put the world map right here so they can kind of think about that as they build. And this is like a hit for all children. They love to play kitchen. Another component is financial literacy. So we have a cash register over here. Um, they can practice and know what it feels like to buy items and sell. A few components of the LC Academy are unique. First, we are a organic facility. Yes. So anytime we're able to purchase organic, we do. Second, the school is equipped with facial recognition software in order to enter the school or classrooms. Education successful. Welcome to the LC Academy. As parents, your kids go to school here. Mm -hmm. How much of a sigh of relief is it to know that your kids are coming here? Everything we do as parents is for them. And so it's a huge relief to know that we were able to build something for our children to go to. And we all show up here together as a family every morning. And it's very comforting. Um, but I think the biggest piece to that is, you know, we did this for our family, but we also have now provided it for other families. And now they can drop their child off with the peace of mind, just like we have. Next, the Smoots are expanding the LC Academy to teach elementary school as well as offer a homeschool program, which is set to open at the end of 2024. The older kids will be taught on the second level of the school. In total, the school can fit over 200 students. As we keep growing in Jacksonville, we want to make sure that people understand and know that we are here for the community and that we want to push you know, school readiness and our VPK vouchers and knowing that this is not just an academy where you have to have a bunch of money. Mm -hmm. Like we're opening it up for, you know, unserviced communities for inner city uh, kids as well too. If you've been to any of the 
underserved communities and have seen the daycares that are there. I promise you, once you step foot in the LC Academy, there's no other daycare that services low-income communities um, with a facility like ours. My goal, our goal, is to provide equal care to everyone, no matter their tax bracket. When you think about your future with the Jaguars, you think about your future here in Jacksonville. Having this school here, I mean, it seems like you probably want to keep your roots here in Jacksonville. Yeah, we de we've definitely grounded ourselves and we, we've created something that we can't just pick up and leave. I definitely want to, you know, create roots here and I feel like I already have, but, you know, stay here as long as possible and you know, if the Jags will have me. I'm Alessandra Pompreon, Channel 4, The Local Station.